Hi, if you're a maker just like me and have been using Arduino for a long time, you probably have not been using the Arduino IDE uh, because VS Code is way better. Unfortunately, Microsoft just got finished discontinuing support for the Arduino extension uh, for VS Code. So now we're kind of in this weird spot where the extension still works, but at some point it's gonna stop. So I've been looking for alternative solutions for still being able to compile and upload and support my Arduino boards in the VS Code environment. So I believe I found one and there's not a lot of information on it right now. So I wanted to do two things, A, share it, and then B, uh, show you guys how to install it and get it set up on your computer. All right, so I'm starting from a fresh install. I don't have any Arduino software installed on this computer. So how we're gonna get started is we're gonna go to open up VS Code and we're gonna go to our extensions and we're gonna search for Arduino Maker. Uh, the extension we're going to be installing here is going to be the Arduino Maker Workshop from this lovely person here on GitHub. Uh, let's go ahead and click install on that. And you'll notice that when we install this, it also installs uh, the C and C++ uh, extension for IntelliSense, which we do need. And it's also going to install a serial monitor uh, for VS Code. Okay, now that we've got that installed, we can see that we have a new button over here. We're going to click on that button. And we're going to go to our Arduino Maker Workshop home. Here we've got a create new sketch. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new uh, a sketch. I believe I'm on my desktop here. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to create a test sketch. You'll notice that it opens up with a test.ino. And we've got um, our setup and... We've got our setup and loop in here. Now it's asking me if I want to install the C++ extension pack. And I do want that. So I'm going to hit install on that. Uh, it's a personal preference. In our Maker Workshop, I'm going to click on Home and select a board. And you'll notice that I don't have any boards installed. So the first thing I need to do is click Install Boards. Uh, we're going to go to Not Installed. And I'm just using an Arduino Nano. So I'm going to click on the Download button for the AVR pack and go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, now that I have the board installed, I can go back to Home and I can select a board. Sometimes it'll auto-populate, uh, but I'm just going to type in a Nano. And I can go back to Home and I'm going to type in or select Port 3. Okay, we're going to go over to our test.ino and you'll notice that we do not have a, um, we do not have a uh, CPP configuration file. Okay, we will need that for IntelliSense. You can see that we're getting a little notification down here. I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. Uh, you'll notice that it's giving me an error about our serial monitor because it doesn't know what it is. Uh, you'll, you'll see it says uh, identifier serial is missing. Don't worry about that. We'll get that file configured for uh, IntelliSense. How we're going to do that is we're going to go over to the Arduino Maker Workshop and we're going to click on the Compile Clean button. We're going to let it compile and now you'll notice that we have that um, properties file that we do need. Uh, but there is an error in that properties. It's looking for my Arduino libraries uh, and they are not in uh, my user folder and documents because I don't have Arduino installed on this computer. So we need to tell the uh, Arduino Maker Workshop extension where our sketchbook location is. My sketchbook location is on Dropbox, so I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to navigate to our C drive and we're going to go to users, your username. We're going to go to app data. We're going to go to local and Arduino 15 and we're going to open up this Arduino CLI YAML. Once we've got that file opened up, you can see that it is looking to here for our sketchbook location, hence our library location, and that is not there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in uh, where I have my sketchbook location, which is in Dropbox. I'm going to save that YAML file and we are going to restart VS Code. Now you notice that the error is not gone from our properties file. That's okay. What we need to do is we need to recompile that uh, file. So I'm going to hit compile clean and so I'm going to hit compile clean and you'll see that it changed uh, to our sketchbook location and also our library location. So you'll notice that IntelliSense still does not know what our serial uh, identifier is and that is okay. This is a valid sketch. If I go to compile and I upload this sketch, it will work on Arduino because this is a valid Arduino sketch. A really cool thing about this plugin is that this extension is that it's going to automatically open up our serial port for us. So let me show you how to fix that. It's very simple. All I need to do is go up to here and type in include Arduino.h. Once we include that, you can see we immediately uh, our IntelliSense was able to figure out what that is. In our properties.json, you'll notice that it does have the correct path for that IntelliSense file. Uh, but for whatever reason, the recursive search through that folder structure is not quite working for Intellis IntelliSense. So we're just going to give a little bit of help by telling it include Arduino.h. All right, that is how you install the Arduino Maker Workshop on your computer. Uh, there's a few things that you need to uh, be aware of. It is a new extension and in its infancy. So we still have a couple bugs that we need to work out. Sometimes you'll need to uh, 
upload. Sometimes you'll need to compile twice to get it to, to go up to uh, your Arduino. Um, but just keep that in mind that sometimes when you hit uh, compile that it does not, um, you can see I just hit compile and upload and it did not uh, change to what I did. The problem is you need to make sure that you save that file first. Okay, Make sure that you actively save that file. Then when you hit compile, it's going to compile that new file that you just saved. And then when I hit upload, uh, we'll get that, we'll get those uh, changes reflected onto our Arduino. Uh, but you do need to make sure that you save your folder before you hit compile and then hit upload. Right now, the upload button does not automatically compile for you. You have to manually compile yourself. Uh, the upload button will be disabled uh, until you hit compile. But make sure you do save your INO before you compile and upload so you get those new changes reflected. It is a brand new extension, so there still are a few creases that need to be wrinkled out. If you have any of those issues, make sure you go over to the GitHub and you uh, open up an issue so that hopefully it can get uh, resolved quickly and this software can be better for everyone. Remember that this extension is free. Uh, so any help that you can do uh, for the last outpost workshop would be fantastic. As I understand it, he is doing this all by himself right now. Uh, so you can buy him a coffee. Uh, I'm gonna post all of his links down below in this YouTube video. Uh, you can also ask me if you have any questions. I would be happy to try to work through those with you. I'll leave those down in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, for now, have fun programming.